So a couple of days ago, the postie tried to deliver a package to me and I wasn't home. This is on Monday and I had a, a little slip in my letterbox telling me that I had a, a package that was delivered to me that I obviously wasn't there to receive. And I left it for a day, um, a hectic household. Obviously I work from home. I've got two young um, daughters. I didn't have the time to rush off to the post office. Little did I know that it was the Oculus Rift Development Kit 2 sitting at my post office waiting for me. So right in front of us now, we are going to unbox the Oculus Rift Development Kit 2, or DK2. Um, it's been a little over a year since Oculus released DK1. Um, in that time, they have teased Crystal Cove, um, which is a prototype headset at CES 2015. Uh, in March, they were acquired by Facebook for $2 billion. Um, and then we got a bit of a tease of DK2 at about that time and then more E3. And then they started shipping um, DK2 out, or they took pre-orders in March and they started shipping them out um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I ordered mine later in the day um, on the 19th of March and I have fell into the second um, lot of, sh of, of shipments. So this is why we're, we're delivering this, this unboxing and first teased you um, a little bit late, but let's get into it. So a Google Glass unboxing of the Oculus Rift DK2. This is a box that it comes in, just a plain, plain little box. Um, and inside we have the actual box that the, the Rift um, DK2 comes in. So we don't have the cool um, plastic box. Um, it's just this box, like a little cardboard box that it comes in where the last Rift that we had, it had a, a wicked plastic box, but beggars can't be choosers. So this is the DK2 development kit two. Inside is the Oculus Rift, of course, which has been upgraded from the 1280 by 800 display, a uh, seven inch 1280 by 800 display, um, to a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 or full HD 1080p display. Um, it runs the same display, the same actual screen panel that is found in the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 smartphone, um, right down to the detail of, of the Samsung logo being on the screen. Um, Oculus have been working directly with um, Samsung are getting display panels. Um, we're not going to open this one up because uh, other sites have done that and I'm not going to rip my development kit to open to try and show you, um, but let's do an unboxing. So then again, the box is, is just a plain, plain cover box. There's nothing special. Um, obviously, obviously, Oculus are probably cutting corners, um, not cutting corners, but at least reducing the, um, the overhead on the, on the price. I'm sure that plastic container that they included with DK1 wasn't cheap. Um, and they probably want to, I'd rather them give me a cover box and a better headset like they have here than have the cardboard box. So inside, um, you can still use this for carrying, um, carrying the Rift around as well, um, which is nice because that foam, as you can see, doesn't actually come off. It's just, it's stuck to the cardboard. So it's gonna be good for, uh, for transportation. So inside, we can see that we've got um, a, spare, a spare pair of ear cups. We've got the positional tracking camera and we have the DK2 itself. So we'll leave the DK2 to our last and we'll take everything else out. So we've got some spare eye cups here and we've got, what else we've got in here? So we have, we'll do, we'll do a picture of these, but I'll just quickly go through what we have here. So a, um, uh, a micro USB um, or mini USB to USB cable a 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil cable um, in this little box. I don't want to tear it open too much. In this little box we have the power adapters for various countries and the power adapters. I won't open that out of the box to not make this video go for 10 minutes. Um, we'll have more of the, more pictures of these in the, in the detailed article uh, below this unboxing video. Uh, the positional camera. Um, so this tracks all the, the movement from the actual Oculus Rift. This is a completely unique to the DK2. This was not on DK1. This is what gives you the presence within within the games. It's a lot better, um, a lot better for presence, like what you actually feel like you're there because you can actually move in and out of the of the 3D space thanks to this positional camera. So this can be mounted um, anywhere um, on your on your screen on your laptop screen or on your desktop monitor or your TV or your table or on a tripod. Um, I think you can actually, yeah, there's a, there's a little, you can actually screw something in there so you can actually put it onto a tripod. So if you've got something like that that you, that you want to use at home, that's perfect. We can see here that we have positional tracker DK2. We'll have some detailed shots of that. 
with the article. So anything else in here? That's it for in there. And then we have the prize, which I'm going to take a look at in a minute. Um, in the box, we have a little cleaning cloth, um, which which is what we got with the with the DK one. But they are useful because you got to clean the um, the ear cups, you know, constantly when you're brushing your eyes and eyelashes and glasses against it. DK2 quick start guide, um, just telling you what's in the in the box. So we have the headset with detachable cable, which is a big change from the from the DK1. Uh, we've got two lens, uh, lenses, um, A and B. Uh, so this is down from the three lenses that you got with the, the Oculus Rift DK1, where you got A, B and C. Positional tracker, which which is new um, and unique to this, the positional tracker USB cable, posi a positional tracker sync cable, uh, DVR to HDMI adapter, and four power plugs. One for the US, which is attached, UK, Australia, and Europe. So there we have it. This is the Oculus Rift DK2. So we are going to take it out of the pack. I haven't been this excited for a, for a tech item for a very long time, probably since DK1 maybe. Um, just because of, of what this what this means, you can do so much with the with the VR headsets that you just simply can't do with um, with conventional monitors and TVs and stuff like that. So there we have it, development kit two. As you can see, there's a couple of buttons here. Um, or one button, I should say. Um, and then we have the, the strap that was normally um, on the side, which is attached directly to the DK2 now. Um, so instead of running it behind you, behind your head, it's actually gonna run over your head. Uh, so the cable won't get in the way as much. Uh, we've got some ports here. So you gotta look a little, a little rubber flap that you can actually open, which is, which is not, too, not too hard to open. Um, and in there we have a 3.5 mil jack and a USB port. So some people have been plugging in um, uh, I think track IR and, and, and other devices in CUSB port, people have even been plugging fans in so they can, if, you know, if you're playing a racing title, you can have the, the wind blowing in your face. Um, you can do all sorts of different things with that USB port. It's a big difference to what DK2 was. Um, it doesn't feel, I think it's a little bit heavier than the DK1, but it doesn't feel heavier. Um, it's got reinforced um, uh, connection or reinforced uh, rubber here, so you can actually feel that it's, it's going to be nice and solid on the face. Um, here's the obviously the spooled cable and then there we have the VR itself um, so in in there we have t um, a single 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 super AMOLED panel which is the like I said before is the panel that we find in the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 smartphone um, so you're gonna get um, you're gonna get a massively uh, more immersive darker um, more colors um, the experience will be much greater than the DK1. Um, if you've ever tried a DK1, you'll see that you've got the massive screen door effect, um, which is just like you can actually see visible pixels on the screen. Um, and it really uh, disconnects you from the VR world. Um, you still get the sense of presence um, and it does look amazing, but it's nowhere near as good as this. Um, I've tried this a few times now, but I haven't actually had it hands-on. Um, it's always at a, at a press event or, or at a somewhere with, where obviously where Oculus is, is demoing the, the unit. But now that I've got it in my hands, it's right here waiting for me. So this is a big jump because of the low persistent screen, so there's less lag. Um, whenever you're moving your, your head from, from left to right, you're not going to get that, that judder, that, that slow kind of like... Um, uh, it feels like you're slowing down to a crawl because of the motion, uh, the, the lag and the motion delay in the screen. Um, but this is going to be a huge jump up um, from, from DK1. This is just a quick unboxing. We're going to have a bunch of more content from, from now on with the DK2. Um, our first impressions, um, well, my first personal impressions are going to be below. We're going to try it a few games um, and the, um, the initial test for the, for the DK2 uh, for this article. And then we're going to have a bunch more articles after this covering Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, um, Team Fortress 2. There's a bunch of other games and there's tons of demos on the Oculus Share um, website and, and various forums that um, developers have been making specifically for Development Kit 2. And we're going to do a deep dive into that over the coming weeks. So for now, that was an unboxing on the Oculus Rift DK2.